Traditional footwear, I think one thing that everyone gets is a blister. We agonised over every line and every detail, even down to this logo here. What we wanted to do with Ultra Boost is unleash the sort of full potential of your body. This is Hickman and Simon. I'm Mr. Dassler, the guy with the three stripes. And we're here at Herzogen Aurach at the Adidas headquarter. And not too long ago, Adidas revealed the Boost technology, being strong on track and in running, but also being strong in lifestyle with Kanye West and uh, his and friends. Others. <laughs> and others like Hikmet, Adi yeah. and me. And Simon. And we're here to show you how Boost works. What is it? And uh, we take you with us into the AIT, which is the James Bond laboratory of totally. Adidas. Mr. Q. You were there when they invented Boost, right? Correct, yes. So, tell us, from there to there, from these little balls okay. to these shoes. <laughs> How we come there? These okay. little balls <laughs> <laughs> to there. <laughs> yeah, it was in 2006, 2007, when, when somebody from our research came to me. Yeah, we call him Dr. Einstein. He looks a little bit like Einstein. Um, he's looking a little bit out of the box. Yeah? And then he came with his particles to me. And she said, okay, Martin, what can we do with that? I said, <laughs> eat it. And, and, and honestly, I mean, I met him in the, in the coffee kitchen. Yeah? Um, <laughs> and um, then Within I said, the okay, hey, Frank, I have actually, I have no idea. Was it an accident? Did he, yeah. did he tell you? I guess um, so. <laughs> it, yeah, not really an accident, but, but he just wanted to, to make some trials and he just wanted to make, okay, what, what will happen when I put this material in so this, he's playing in, 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 around in, in, like a kid. Yeah, right. Okay. Correct. Yeah, and then this material like came us. up. But then the tricky uh, thing was, okay, what can we do with these particles? Yeah, how we can how we can bring them together? And um, then later on, the idea came, okay, just use the equipment what we can use uh, to to bind styropor particles or um, EPP together. So we weld them with steam together. Mm -hmm. These particles. When did you first see Boost? When was the first time? Can you remember? Well, I joined the innovation team after doing some other jobs in Adidas in 2012. That was the first time when I was offered a test shoe. So my experience was really going out at lunchtime for a lunchtime run <laughs> and just see how it feels. And I swear, no joke, it felt very different. It felt very different at the minute I tried it on. But I, I had some sore calves and I thought, oh, what's that? And I remember because it was that shoe and then um, Heiko from the research team took me back and tried to explain a few things. He didn't say much about the, the materials as I know it now, but he said, well, in that material you sink a lot deeper inside, so you take benefit of the material. The boost is very flexible. It compresses easily, it's very soft, and at the same time, it's highly elastic. It gives a lot of the energy that we put in the material during compression, it gives it back. So, and originally, and if we go back to our energy boost, we really thought we need to control this a lot. Now, at the same time, if you think about other footwear innovations, um, the, and specifically the idea of natural running, to say like, okay, we wanna work with your internal biomechanics. Not change how you run, work with your individual running gait. And I just assumed the, f the thing that I felt a bit sore with my calves is that normally when you run an EVA for the last 30, 30 plus years, you have not such a deflection in the material. You run on top of the midsole, but not using the midsole with its cushioning. And that was something entirely new. Why is it white and not paintable or why not painted yet? So we think that it's not paintable. Maybe it's paintable it's because maybe Adidas likes a white yeah, sole but, unit. But, but, <laughs> but okay, um, if, you, if you use, let's say, paint or pigments or colors, yeah. you will change also the performance of the particles okay. or of the sole. Yeah? Right. And this is actually what we have to make sure that we don't change the, the let's see. say, the physical properties. But theoretical, is it possible to paint it without taking a can or a pen? Yeah, sure. What was your hardest task with Boost? I think my hardest task was really when we started testing um, to not give some early samples that were not perfect, mm -hmm. to not give them to the runners because the runners were testing some shoes in the lab, um, but the geometry was just not perfect. Mm -hmm. um, 
and so they were definitely unstable. Um, so not to allow him to give because they were begging for the shoes like crazy. <laughs> and I think the uniqueness of Boost to me today is you can give a soft shoe, whether it's for running or for comfort, I don't make a difference. But soft doesn't mean unstable any longer. And I think this is the game changer in, in my opinion. <laughs>